January 5th, 2011. How to lie with statistics. Here in Birmingham, we only have right-wing pundits on the radio. We got no Air America, nothing like that. We get MSNBC because we are living in the 21st century like everybody else. But as far as local, as far as local media goes, all we got is like crazy right-wing, crazy right-wing pundits. One of the stations that uh, features 24 hours of these crazy right-wing pundits is, uh, is uh, 101 FM to Source. It was started by some uh, sort of Von Trapp type singing children sort of family, but they had to, of course, be evangelical. So they've done pretty well in Birmingham. But uh, but they, uh, they they play it pretty straight. You know, it's pretty much 24 hours of Limbaugh clones. One of the uh, local Limbaugh clones is Lee Davis. I was listening to him last night on the radio. And Lee Davis said, this, uh, he, this is his statistic. He says that only... 1%, 1% of married people in America are living in poverty. Now that may or may, that may or may not be true. It, it may be true, that's probably true. But that's kind of like what you call lying with statistics. What does that mean? That's like taking just a sort of a random demographic out of the poverty rates in America and making it out like the economy is marvelous. Because only like 1% of the married people in America are living in poverty. Here's some other interesting facts about, uh, facts and statistics. Facts and statistics about, uh, about the poverty rate in marriage in America. Well, in 19, uh, no, 19, in 2005, unmarried households became the majority. The majority of households in America now they're not married, they're unmarried, they're unmarried. The average American spends the majority of his or her life unmarried. So they don't count, they don't count the 1%. 23.4% of Americans never marry. Never marry, what? Never marry at all. Fact is, as of 2009, 14.3% of Americans are living in poverty. That's kind of sad. That's kind of sad. And the 1% would might make you get foolishly optimistic. Of married families, people living in married families, 5.8% are living in poverty. The 1% statistic would probably distort the fact that not everybody living in a married family is actually married. They got kids. They got kids. The kids aren't married. The kids aren't married. 5.4% of white people living in married families are living below the poverty level. 8.3% of blacks. 14.9% of Hispanics. That's sad. That's sad. Things could be, could be much better. Much better. They could be worse, but they could be much better. In fact, they were worse. They were worse. Back in the 1950s, 22, in the late 1950s, 22.4% of Americans were living below the poverty level. What happened? What happened since the days of the 1950s that the conservatives want to return to, back when poverty was so much higher than it is today? Well, there was something called the Great Society. This evil Great Society um, made a huge dent, made a huge dent. And after the, uh, the establishment of the Great Society, Poverty rates just dropped in America pretty dramatically. They got down to 11.1% uh, in 1973. That's about as low as it ever got in America. Back when we were, we were about as progressive as we've ever been. 1980s, Reagan era, conservatives got back in power. Poverty started to creep back up. In fact, about the worst it ever got was in 1983. They got up to... Uh, 15.2%. That's worse than it is now. But it's still pretty bad. The 1% told by Lee Davis shown here is not so much a big fat lie. It's a big fat distortion. They pick out one sort of quirky statistical fact 
and then wave the flag like everything's great, man. It's only 1% of the married people. Only 1% of the married people in America are living in poverty. And that's just, that's just a gross distortion of the reality. This is Stephen Smith with the Birmingham Free Press. Wishing you and yours.